Hello, my name is Lee Elliott. I would like to tell you about a training program on resilience that's coming to Grand Island. Life is tough. Frankly, there are things that happen to us on a day in and day out basis that just wear on us. They just, over time, they challenge us. We in fact call this the daily grind. It just keeps at us and wears us down. Uh, in addition, there are things that happen in our life that are so difficult that we're simply not flat. Most of the time, we're able to recover from these. Most of the time, our recovery is fairly complete. However, once in a while, our recovery isn't so complete, and once in a rare while, we don't can recover at all. Why is that? What can be done to increase our ability to bounce back from these life difficulties? Uh, the good news is there is research out there that is showing us the way to enhance our ability to bounce, our ability to re be resilient, our ability to recover from these life difficulties. We know, for example, based on research coming out of North Carolina, that if we increase the number of positive emotions we experience on a day-in and day-out basis, we are much more resilient. The magic number, three to one. Three positive emotions to one negative re emotion, referred to as the Losada ratio, is that critical point. Above that amount, we're resilient. Less than that, we're not. We need to understand how can we increase the amount of positive emotions we experience on a day-in and day-out basis, and that will be covered in the training. In addition, research has shown that we have habits of thought that impede our ability to be resilient. By changing these habits, we increase our resilience. That too will be covered. And the third thing, we need to experience homes. Our children need to experience a home in which their resilience is enhanced. We know how to do that. The research on that is, for example, saying that caring for a child, one person caring for that child will dramatically increase the probability of that child being resilient. And the good news is the person does not have to even be related to them. The person does not have to live with them. It just has to be someone that that child has frequent contact with that truly cares about them. The training on this is in fact simply packed. There's an enormous amount of information that will be included in, in, in addition to resilience. We also will be providing training on hope the good news is how to increase hope is not difficult. There's not a lot of content. There's not a lot of research out there that says it's a very complex thing. It's actually quite simple. We in this training will be training the people of Grand Island how to be more resilient and how to have more hope as they live their lives. We do hope you'll be able to attend. To register for this training, contact Julia at the YWCA. We do expect the program to fill quickly. Please register as soon as possible.